What a bitch, two moves here. Now, two years ago, it was reported that Amy Adams was such a star in this very interesting sounding and interesting title film. I gotta be careful how it says because I don't want my video to get us as well as because of on this word. So I'm just gonna um say uh pretty much uh say in a way um that's uh say for uh work here. Uh of course, two years ago, um Amy Adams was such a star in a film simply titled Night Bait. You guys know what I'm if you guys are oh that. You guys will know what I'm talking about when I say Night Bee. Uh, anyway, and this that film actually sounds really interesting. For one, it is actually uh, based on a uh, on a novel, and this uh, and looks like they pretty much have a studio and a director. It's reported that Searchlight has um has been brought on to acquire the rights for the film, and it's also set to be directed by. Uh, Mara Heller, who of course last directed the Mr. Rogers film, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, which I really enjoyed, by the way. Alright. Now, here's the, uh, the crazy tr the crazy uh, story in this film. Alright. The film, um, Night Bee, which, like I said, is um, based on a book of the same name, which someone really wrote a book, um, literally titled, okay, uh, tired, but anyway. To be honest, I won't be surprised if they change the title when the movie actually gets released. So, yeah. Anywho. Alright. Uh, the film, t the uh, story tells um, tells the story of a woman who uh, finds herself in the mind-bending and energy uh, sapping routine of raising a toddler in a suburban home while her husband um, is on late, is on leafy um, business trips. Uh, she slowly embraces the fair power deeply uh, rooted in motherhood as she becomes increasingly aware of bizarre and unable signs that I kid you not, this is actually the actual words that she may be turning into a canine. Yeah, so it's literally a film about someone about pretty much a uh, mother who thinks she's getting turned into a dog. So, oh, hence I'm guessing hence the title. Uh, this actually sounds really interesting. I mean, I never read the book, so I can't really comment on that or anything. But hey, this sounds like it could be something very bizarre. I mean, Searchlight, we saw how crazy Searchlight could get. We saw that with the movie Fresh that premiered on Hulu. This is if this premiering on Hulu or anything. So I'm guessing this is going to get to the actual release. Now, as for the director, uh, Helen has directed some really intriguing films. Uh, her, of course, she did have her most notably uh, role was, of course, uh, appearing in the, um, oh, dang, uh, what was that Hotel Joy show that premiered right. on um, the, uh, Dang that uh the chess show um of the Queen uh, Queen's Gambit she of course had a part in that but she has had her uh, hands in directing with um with her directorial debut being the uh, film uh, Diary of a Teenage Girl which I thought was really good Can You Ever Forgive Me which was also terrific but obviously her best work in my opinion has got to be the Mister Rogers film A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood really terrific film if you guys have never seen that so. Yeah, I gotta say, this could be a dream. Uh, Amy Adams, I think she is a great actress. Of course, her next project will be the upcoming um, A Chance of Sequel, so she has that coming. Uh, let me see what else she has uh, in the pipeline. Um, not sure what else she has coming, but uh, of course, she just had Dear Evan Hansen, Woman in the Window, so she's had some interesting roles recently, too, so I think this could be really a dream. Anyway, let me let you guys. What are your thoughts on Mara Heller being chosen to direct uh, Amy Adams in the upcoming uh, film Night Bay? Do you like the sound of it? You are, have you ever read the book of Space Sign? Do you like the directing choice? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for one occasion. This is Simu Sign Off.